Hello, and welcome to another Boneyard Bonfire. We're continuing the story of, well, Saints Row the Third. It's the remastered, so it's gotta be somewhat better. We're gonna start as we always do with the Jimmy mission, only because it's a clone. Clones are fun. Oh, almost forgot before the next song starts playing. You know, eventually they're gonna get to the point where they're just um, gonna. Um, look, I know this hasn't gone as smoothly as I said it would, but I know we can bring Gat back around. Come to my place and give me one more chance. You won't regret it. I don't need yeah, it's eventually gonna get to the point where they're just gonna have it programmed so it's like the moment you hit any capture software. It instantaneously, like, mutes any sounds, well, any songs, for, um, if you're gaming at the same time. Yeah. Well, I haven't totally perfected the art of drifting so far, I have kind of gotten better at it but again it's just a question of timing but it's also a whole thing of this car currently does not have a rear tire uh, rear driver's side tire which affects the dri the drifting a little bit Now, um, actually, I'm gonna have some, a I have some atmospheric, uh, weather outside. It's, uh, currently r raining as I'm recording this. Now, I am going to a convention here in Minneapolis, in Minnesota, here, uh, in, uh, May beginning of May. Now, I will be... Now, y you guys have probably already, like, this is gonna come out after that. Like, I'm trying to get all the Bioshock stuff out. I, I might have, um, accelerated my scheduling a little bit, so that way it went from, like, every three days to, like, every, or every, every two or three days to, like, maybe one a day just to get all the um all of it the bioshock out of the way now i will be I come out on top. starting a couple um like you guys would already have um watched them but they're like i'm gonna do a few episodes guys! might might have a face cam yes! make a mask Like, these are, of course, before that, so they're before I... Uh, what the hell happened? Well, and Johnny found it here, and he, um, 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 he disappeared. Uh, now I remember, but what, what happened to me? Oh, that! You're feeling the effects of my irradiated Saints flow! Your what? While you were out, I gave you Saints flow I irradiated with my homemade particle accelerator! I intended to drink it myself, but seeing as I owed you for all this trouble, I figured you could use it. What's it done to me? I feel like, like, like I'm fucking invincible. <gasps> it should increase your speed, your strength, allow you to throw fireballs, make you impervious to harm and other unknown side effects. My very own superhero concoction. Now you're ready to go after Johnny. Damn right. I'm hearing roars in the distance. Taking off like a god, treading among mere mortals. <laughs> the leader of the saints set out to find their two trusted lieutenants. Meanwhile, their closest friend, Jimmy Torbison, scoured the information highway for news on... Jimmy, you mental. Uh, what, what? 
Whoop. I was told I was invincible. Apparently, that's not against... Um, falling. Guys! Jesus! Uh, no. Apparently that had to happen. But yes. Uh, what the hell happened? Well, and Johnny found his way back here and he, um... Um, um, he disappears. No, now I remember, but what, what happened to me? Oh, that! You're feeling the effects of my irradiated Saints flow! Your what? While you were out, I gave you Saints flow I irradiated with my homemade particle accelerator! I attempted to drink it myself, but seeing as I owed you for all this trouble, I figured you could use it. What's it done to me? I feel like, like... Like I'm fucking invincible! It should increase your speed, your strength, allow you to throw fireballs, make you impervious to harm and other unknown side effects. My very own superhero concoction! Now you're ready to go after Johnny! Damn right! I'm hearing roars in the distance! Uh, triangulating the source and... I've got it! Sending you the location now! Take oh, I was going like with your no matter what. Among mere mortals. The leader of the Saints set out to find their two trusted lieutenants. Meanwhile, their closest friend, Kimmy Torvikson, scoured the information highway for news on... Jimmy, are you mental? Uh, what, 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 what do you mean? How are you talking to me? Gods? Mortals? My closest friend? What the hell is that all about? Oh my god, you have telepathic powers! You can hear my thoughts! Your thoughts? Well, fucking great, just what yeah. I always wanted. How about we stick to the phone, alright? Yeah, There's I... no sign of Gat around here. Oh. There's military crawling all over the place. You're right! Don't worry, I'm fine here. Just find Gat and Pierce. Yeah. How do I can? How do I can? There we go. Yeah. 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 You know that? Uh, it's it's one of those ones where it's like I could name this. I could name the episode Hadouken, but it's one of those ones where it's like, uh, again, it's like copyright is a bit to make up for his mistake, Timmy Torvikson searched the airwaves for any sign of the lost Johnny Gat, finding... Seriously, kid, keep the thoughts to yourself. Oh, right. Sorry. I heard over the radio there's loud roars coming from Planet Shanks. I'll be on the phone with you the whole way! I need to go. No, you know what? Running in the 90s. There we go. I... I gotta say, the one, um... Like... I'll keep saying number four only because, uh, like, about number four only because it's like, it was the first Saints Row I played and everything. There they are! Release the brutes! Fuck me! Again? Yeah! But, um, it, it, it's a whole thing of, um... Oh, no! You're late with that news, mate. But, uh, in number four, they, um, like, they have it to where you're able to sprint fast enough to run on water. Oh. 
Come on now. What? Ah, oh, this is amazing. Magic trick. Ta-da! And they disappear. I'm taking this. You all right? Ta-da! I'm here with gas. We're on top of Magarat Bridge and we're under attack by the military. You gotta hurry. Don't worry, Pierce. I'm on my way. Oh. This is, like, it is a bit more fun now that I can just run everywhere. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, again. Ah, uh, it wore off. Jimmy, something ain't right. Shane's throw must be wearing off. I shot him in last year, he's an hour, but you burned through the power too fast. You'll have to stop. No time to stop, not while Pierce and Gout are out there. Like, the, the saddest thing is, like, a, as I said, even though you have a phone, you can't just listen to music while running around and everything. You have to be in a vehicle. So it's like, this ability, this power, this fun to run around bit, like, it's fine and dandy and all that, but ultimately it would be boring, mainly because, like, you can't listen to any tunes. Sorry for my erratic uh, running. I've got a cat that decided that he needed to be petted oh so much. Oh, get now ha the clone has a uh, five o'clock shadow. Nobody shoots my friends, got it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crap. Ah. We've got those assholes. And and just like with um guns, you can't really do the fireballs while running. What it would seems kind of like yeah. it's understandable if you're looking at it from a um, stance perspective. Yeah. Personally, I'm checking out the Mountain Dew Rise. I get but it isn't as good as it could be. I'm not be. seeing a way up there, Pierce. How'd you manage it? Gat climbed up the side, but don't worry. Called the boys and they're flying in the chopper. Can always count on you. Get to the chopper.
bit. It ain't just killing, it's overkill. Careful up there! I'm seeing helicopters fly in! Yeah, that ain't gonna hit in a mile, like a thousand years. What's this uh, last thing coming? Oh, just another hit. cop, a uh, chop, a chopper. But yeah, it seems unlike um, with number two, it's less about. Uh, like, what, wait, what? There's just a furry walking outside. That's what happens when you fire saint. Oh. I found this is just a very effective method. Where it's like, yes. I say it's my car. Because like, if you shoot them in the body, you have to go through like three or four shots. But if it's headshot, it's just one shot KO. Well, guess not not knock up, but yeah, it's a one tap kill. Okay, we got 
one more huge scene to film, and this one's gonna be so over the top, I'm coining a new phrase for it. Exaggerial. Yeah, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but trust me, you kill it. Yeah. It that was a sad excuse for a fight. Like, I, I want to see how they did the movie, only because it's like... Gangsters in space sounds like an ultimately good... Because it, it's less of gangsters go to space and more of uh, space came to the gangsters. Which, by all means... Now, okay, okay. There is... Your reign of terror is over, Satan. I don't know if, um... I don't know if anyone else has seen it or remembers it. I don't know if it was, like, a uh, one-off episode... Like, it was an episode of, like, X-Files or something. But I swear... Well, it was, like... It would have been in the, like, late 90s or whatever, early 2000s. Just... It was, like, vampire cheerleaders from outer space. Like, it wasn't a porno. It was a legitimate, um, like, episode of, or something. Yeah, it looks like I'm running. I don't care. But yeah, it's, um, like, I remember watching it. I know I, like, the big bad, like, the end of see uh, like the ending was um like they ended it by being badass by like going to where the vampires were their ship or um cave or something like that just and they used a bunch of mirrors to reflect sunlight into like a disco ball and that like eh, like killed all the vampires like that that was the ending like it, it's one of those ones where it's like there's the Mandela effect or whatever, where it's Berenstein, Berenstein, like those type deals, which honestly I think it's more of the a whole translation thing, like German to English or English to German or whatever, due to how we pronounce things. Like we say Frankenstein, where if it was German in the original, it's Frankenstein. So it's the whole thing of, like, the Mandela effect goes off of... Okay, you ready to crush this final sequence? The aliens are invading, and you have to stop the mind control transmitters by uploading a virus into them. You can get the flight of spaceship. So, get in and get going. Script says you're the pilot and gunner. So, you know how to fly this, right? Shouldn't be that hard. And the locations of the transmitters? Probably programmed into the computer. You really know your stuff. It's uh, kind of my job, love. Wish Here we go! Action! Kiwilana, I'll destroy the shield generator to open a link to the transmitter. And I'll upload the virus so we can shut these all down. Won't that kill your people? Yes. With their minds still connected to the hive, they too will die. This must be done for Earth. Uploading the virus now. I'll keep us safe. Don't worry. I know you will. <laughs> Revenge of the Navigator. Uh, those of you that are too young, it was uh, Flight of the Navigator. I, I actually need to watch that. Like, it's, uh, Mac and me, as well as, uh, Flight of the Navigator. Knew we weren't alone. Upload complete. Two more to go. Cut! My god, that Earth line. So much emotional depth. You really captured the plight of the whole planet there. You must be fucking joking. But you, Jackie, you... Look. My name's Jenny. And yeah, I know what you think. Can we just get to the next scene Fine. now? I want shots of that ship doing cool things. You know, flying by buildings, through near areas, shit like that. Oh, what that's easy. Really do with it? That I can handle. Watch it, damn it. Mm. 
so nimbly. How near do I is near? Too near. Perfect! We can use that! How the... Oh. That I can do. Do a barrel, barrel, roll. Oh, it doesn't allow me to. Or maybe it will if I was in like... Oh. No... I got nada. Yeah, I did not like don't get me wrong, it's it's nimbly. Oh. I am shit driving. Well, to be fair, the handling is a bit bad. Just get to the next scene now. See? What'd I tell you? Yeah, well, he deserved it. You're damn right he did. Still, thanks for the encouragement. He certainly seems to be working. Under. Can I? Oh, ho, ho. Just threaded it. But it didn't give me the barrel roll more than your grass. No. Let's see. If we get enough height, then suddenly pull back, straight back. Uh, it won't let me do a barrel roll. Or a real one, at least. Uh, whoa, what a shot! <laughs> Action! There's a second generator! You know what to do! Hey, should I swing around so the camera can get a better angle of the ship? The fuck did I say? That's the last time you break character. I've had it with you extras. You and all the other actresses in this film are never finding work again. You're useless. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Ah, oh, shit. Got me for my blind side, huh? Sorry. He shouldn't have been in the line of fire. Ah, oh, shit. It's always like the last of the last, where it's like they Can give we you. Can just get to the next scene now? See what I tell you? Yeah, well, he deserved it. You're damn right, he did. Still, thanks for the encouragement. He certainly seems to be working. The second generator. You know what to do. Heads up. Why do they always find us? So much more easy. There's more than one. Up 
uploading. Hey, should I swing around so the camera can get a better angle of the ship? The fuck did I say? That's the last time you break character. I've had it with you extras. You and all the other actresses in this film are never finding work again. You're useless. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. Your cameramen have got to be careful because I will shoot them if they keep getting within my way. I ain't shoot him down. He got in the way. Upload's done. Then let's move on. Let's cut! Okay, go with something new here. I'm throwing in a reversal. Wait, that's not in the script. It's coming up soon. Just make it work. So much for easy. Knew we weren't alone. A little height. He's got the Steelport Guard assaulting us? What now? Take them all out. Easy peasy. It's one of the best things I am. It's one of the things I'm best at. What the hell was Jen thinking? I'm with you on that. I wish it would tell me, like, the health of my vehicle. Or, well, whatever it's called, this ship. Only because, like, it, don't, don't get me wrong, it, it adds that uh, mystery of, um, like, oh, how good are you? It, but it also goes off more of how many shots... Like, how many times do I have left to get hit before I fully die? This is the last shield. Once it's down and the virus is in, we'll be able to end this thing once and for all. Beginning the upload. You know what? These ships aren't acting like remote controlled drones. What? What'd you expect? It was easier to use the extras to fly these things. Saves money and they were just expendable workers anyway. And they must really be trying to kill us. That insane asshole's killing real people for a movie. To, uh, well, if uh, those of you that um, don't know, I think it was Cannibal Corpse Disney Party or some, or Cannibal Party, something like that. Um, like with how good the um like practical effects were there was an a like people were convinced that it was like actual like people died in the making of it
lessen the lives of the actors. How about shoot down anything except my camera crew? I'm not trying to shoot them down, they just keep That's getting in the way. Alright, now you have to get to the center of the city to execute the viruses. Okay people, let's make the drama happen! The sooner we're done with this scene, the sooner I can go home and let off some steam. Huh. I think you let some off already. That's a shame for that ship. But at least we now know the real um, okay. reason behind We're the name here. of the... Set off the viruses! Executing! Roll film! Hang on, what's happening? Your ship is shutting down while in range of the viruses. Now, I want one more stunt, one more close flyby, only faster and with more intensity. This will be the best scene in the film. You're gonna kill it! He's out of his mind! I can do this. The cast just got bigger! You're really out of the fans! We aren't alone! Are you serious? We won't get close! To death, we'll get blown to hell. Fuck that. Hang on, we're getting out of range. I don't think they want autographs. Strafe, Bob and we. Let's finish the scene and land this damn thing. Yeah, sure. Look who's coming. The earth is safe. Now that's an ending for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm at 40 minutes and this will be a longer one depending on how the other two emissions go oh I got a Genki thing eh Oh, what? Eh. Your presence is needed for the start of the next Genki Bowl 7 match, created by the Genki Girl Sexy Kitten. Please head there as soon as you're able so we can get underway. Oh yeah, I did buy this place. Eh, I'll just snag this plane. I don't care whose it is. It's mine now. Remember, Possessing is nine tenths of the law.
Oh, what am I saying? Yeah, in real life, it takes a bit for it to, like, it has to hit 116, I think. Doing the math, like, even if you have max throttle, it takes a good, um, like, I think 60 seconds, or, like, figure two miles, like, it goes up two miles per hour per second. Like, I think that's the technical thing. So it's, it's zero to 30 and... Are uh, it's zero to sixty in thirty seconds or something like that. Oh, and uh, for not for well for to figure out knots and everything, um, figure um double it and minus one like figure so like three knots is five miles per hour and six is eleven and like that type. Yeah, but it's like you, you're gonna have a little fun with the planes, like it is near, because it, in real life you have to worry about wind, air pressure, speed. Like you have to worry about so many little things that this kind of stuff is impossible. That reminds me, I need to pop into the one of the gun shops. Coming in with style. Welcome Genki Ball 7 fans <coughs> to the latest and greatest contest of guts, gore, and glory. Courtesy of that crazy cat man, Professor Genki. That's right, Zack. And today's show brings with it a very special surprise. Professor Genki's very own Genki girl, Sexy Kitten, has designed a brand new game for our contestant to play. And what Ooh. a game it is. Here to tell us more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy. Thank you, Zack. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city and cause as much damage and mayhem as they oh, can before time easy. runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like Sexy Kitten definitely put her paw print on this show. Oh, and that's not all, Bobby. The ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that, and the contestant will score big. Hmm, a mouse and a ball of yarn, huh? Is something the matter? No, it just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. You really don't, Zach. We never did find that mouse. Oh, oh she say what? I have no idea how to use the shockwave. Well, this contestant is oh, really there. starting to get the hang of things. Well, they should, Bobby. The leader of the Saints has been one of Genki's best contestants to date. After their performance on Super Ethical Reality Climax, I'd have to agree. The ease yeah. with which this Saint shot their way through the arena was inspiring. Indeed it was. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Are you sure those are goosebumps, Zach? <laughs> What else would they be? Zach, weren't you just telling me about some rash you and your wife got from a restaurant last week, right? Oh, that, uh, that wasn't from a restaurant per se. <sighs> well, that's good. I have reservations there tomorrow night. You do? Well, then stay away from a waitress named Karen. <laughs> Always the Karen. No! Oh, they just didn't have it. Is they doing well? Oh. Ooh, like it, it, that's the thing about these. Like you, you get to this point where it's like you're so damn close. Come on. That really 
Barely continues oh, the just barely. That is Genki Bowl 7. They couldn't just get lost. I like these. They just... They're cathartic, I guess. Oh. Eh. Like, pretty much the moment I stop, like... Eh, there we go. <laughs> you aren't yet. <laughs> I wonder if we'll ever see... Genki's girlfriend, Sexy Kid. Oh, I did get the mouse. Oh, nah. Uh, let's see. That was actually one of the quicker ones. Yeah, 40. Like, it only took six minutes, so yeah, might as well. Hey, I think I'm ready to make a move on the syndicate. What do you have in mind? Head to the crib. I found something you should see. Better be worth my time. I think it's a safe bet it'll be worth it. I think I said um, earlier, and it's like, this, it seems like this one is less uh, focused on, like, the, f number two was more the whole, um, each mission was a place for you to get, whereas this one seems more like, um, you do the missions just for a little extra money, but you're mainly doing the activities and such, like you're buying places more than actually, like, taking people out and taking them. And right now I'm just saving up, uh... <laughs> lot of money and getting to the point where I can just buy like some uh, like just a heck a bunch of upgrades because like I'm already up to like what 15 16 for the respect meter and it's like you get to buy the upgrades you got to use money and all that which you know it, it's fine it's oh what Sorry, that keeps getting me to where it's like, um... It's like, it does this and... There you go. Because you're thinking, oh, press E to open the door as well. But yeah. Check it out, boss. What's up? Since this used to be a syndicate crib, thought I'd poke around and see what they left behind. All right, so what am I looking at? Safety deposit keys. Don't you want to know what it is they all got locked up? The syndicate will know we have the keys. They'll be waiting for us to make a move. Well, I guess then you better watch my back. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, one out of one? What? What do we do now? I'm going to go in, open the safety deposit boxes, get the shit, and then come out. Without any bloodshed? Fuck no. Well, you had me worried for a second. Just be ready when I come out. Hey. Don't take too long. All right, I'm coming out now. Keep my ass covered till I can find somewhere to hide. So you get what you needed? Hell yeah. Little help That's from up there might be nice. Yeah, I'm trying. They're apparently good at driving backwards. You drop Damn you, Pierce. Like, they're going through so many... It's... Because they're... Right, I'm coming out now. Keep my ass covered till I can find somewhere to hide. So you get what you needed? Hell yeah. Don't let these assholes get 
too close. It's because you're too close. I'm blowing their asses up and you're right there next to them. A little help from up there might be nice. I've still got it. Damn, these guys don't give up. You're the one letting them get too close. You drop it. See, he gets far too close to them, so that way when I blow them up, he gets. All right, I'm coming out um, now. Take my ass cover till I can find somewhere to hide. So you get what you needed? Hell yeah! Shoot them already! Pleasant bit of action, that. Like he loses less health if Don't he let just. Don't these assholes get too close. If he just runs by them, then I blow them up. Okay, now we figured it out. You dropping them or what? Shoot them already! Let you get on through, then we shoot them. Yeah, look at that. He's barely a quarter of a health. Or he's barely lost a quarter of health. Protecting my homie. My homie's just being a dumbass. You gonna hit these assholes? They're blocking the road up here. Help me out. Another roadblock. Get everything ready. Never fight your betters. Come on, Pierce, run at the fucking building, you chicken-legged asshole. Come on, cardio, cardio. Cardio, not Cardi B.
I could do this all day. Ah, <sighs> oh, phew. Ah, oh, finally. What? You know what? I'll figure that out later. For now, what should I upgrade? Ooh. I should wait and save. Oh, but I could get the sprint. Nah. You know what? I'll save for collectibles. I think I'll cut it here. I'm Blood. This has been a Boneyard Bonfire. See you in the next one. Have a good one. And goodbye.